Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Zalicious Cooking Series. And today I'm going to show you how to make honey glazed chicken. For all ye lovers of chicken that have a sweet tooth, this recipe is one recipe that you're definitely going to adore. Let me introduce you to the ingredients. For this recipe you'd need 8 chicken drumsticks, 2 tablespoons of sesame oil, 1 cup of honey, 6 tablespoons of soy sauce, 3 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 3 garlic cloves, 1 medium sized onion bulb, 1 medium sized green bell pepper, 1 medium sized red bell pepper, 1 medium sized yellow bell pepper, half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, 1 tablespoon of chicken seasoning, 2 tablespoons of ketchup, 1 seasoning cube, some black pepper and salt to taste. As usual, I'm all about making dishes in a snap. So this dish is one very simple and easy dish and it's also a very mouth-watering and yummy dish. So let's get right into the cooking process. I'm going to start by throwing all of my honey into this mixing bowl. It's honey glazed chicken, so loads and loads of honey will definitely be used. Look at that. Next up, I'm going to add soy sauce as well. And I'm going to add oyster sauce. All of this is going to add loads and loads of flavor to the chicken before I bake it. And I'm also going to add blended sesame oil. Everything is going to go in. And as usual, you know that I cannot make any dish without adding some garlic. So I'm just going to grate in two garlic cloves into this mixing bowl as well. You can use garlic powder if you don't have garlic. The, the fresh garlic but it's always more advisable to use the fresh garlic because you get loads and loads of flavor from it or you can totally skip this process if you don't like garlic but garlic is pretty healthy so you shouldn't skip it and advice from this delicious kitchen <laughs> okay so i'll just keep grating and just take it out with my spoon just to make sure that i get all the grated garlic I'm going to continue by throwing in some chicken spice. This is store-bought, but you can totally make it at home yourself if you want to. This is cayenne pepper. Hot and spicy is what I'm about, so. Then I'm also going to add one bouillon cube. This is a chicken bouillon cube. Remember, it's a chicken recipe, so everything we use has to be related one way or another to chicken. Oh, let's not forget the ketchup. I want some sweetness as well from the ketchup. I know that the honey is adding lots of sweetness to this, but I also want that sweetness from the ketchup as well. So some ketchup goes in. For more heat, I'm going to add a sprinkle of black pepper, just one sprinkle, and of course, some salt. You never cook anything without salt, but I'm going to be very easy on with the salt because I already added soy sauce and oyster sauce, which have loads and loads of salt in them. And it's just a matter of whisking all of this together or in this case stirring it together to combine this is looking so good and my director is just looking at what i'm doing like what is what on earth is this girl doing yeah, like, it sauce. <laughs> it like what is she doing today like what new thing does she have for us today again and trust me i'm sure he's going to be very surprised when i'm done with this one Okay, so everything is totally mixed. What I'm going to do is divide this mixture in half because I want to save some for while I'm baking it. While it's baking, you really need to also glaze it or baste it so that the chicken has loads and loads of, loads of honey drippings and stuff and oh all the yumminess. This chicken is going to be a happy, happy chicken when we're done. <laughs> Let me just clean out the edges because I don't like a messy workstation or a messy work bowl. Okay, over here I have some chicken drumsticks that I have washed and cleaned. I patted it dry with kitchen paper towel. It's important you do that so that you avoid the amount of liquid content that goes into the baking tray while it is baking. So I'm just going to use my tongue to just drop this gently into the mixing bowl. The chicken drumsticks are so large because you can use chicken thighs if you prefer but just try and use either the chicken thighs or the chicken drops drumsticks to get the best out of this recipe and then I'm just going to stir this around with my spoon I'm trying to avoid using my hands to do this 
because it's going to leave it so yucky and so messy and stuff. So if you want to use your hands, go right ahead. But I'm just going to use my spoon because I find that it's going to do the job for me just perfectly. So basically what you want to do is ensure that the chicken pieces are all coated in the marinade. Now the marinade is just to make sure that I made. So you just ensure that it's fully coated and then it's submerged into the marinade. And now at this point you have two options. One either just go through it straight into the oven and start to cook it. Or the second option is leave it to marinate for at least one hour or two hours or overnight. I always like to go for the option of marinating it because that way the seasonings and everything go right into the chicken and it comes out tastier and juicier and tenderer. Tenderer. <laughs> is that a word like that? <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? So what I'm going to do is just cover this up with some foil paper and throw it into my fridge and allow it to marinate for an hour or two. Okay, so I just got my chicken out of the fridge. It's been marinating for about one hour, one hour for five minutes or thereabout. I really didn't take note of the time that much. So I'm just going to transfer my chicken pieces onto this baking tray that I have lined with some foil paper. And I must also add that if you are marinating this chicken for over 24 hours or overnight, kindly discard the marinade and make a fresh one before baking. Okay, that is very important. So first I'm going to start by drizzling some oil on my baking tray that I have lined with paper, sorry, foil paper. <laughs> and I'm going to use this brush to just make sure that the foil paper is fully coated with the oil. Now this is going to prevent the chicken from sticking to the foil paper while it is baking. Okay, so next up I'm just going to take my drumsticks and just place them gently onto my baking tray it's okay to have some drizzles of the marinade on it it's fine we're going to baste this whole thing with the marinade as well and also ensure that all of your chicken pieces are about the same size so that it cooks evenly and it cooks really fast and it comes out looking really good so i'm not done yet it's winifred and i always like to add some twist to stuff that i'm making I'm going to pop this whole thing up and jazz it and take it to a whole new level right now with some bell peppers. <laughs> I'm using the yellow bell pepper. This is some red ones as well. Look at how the colors are coming together. Now, this is not just going to add color to the dish. It's also going to add lots and lots of flavor. Bell peppers have lots and lots of flavor and then they give out this beautiful aroma that will fill up your kitchen in seconds while it starts baking. So, and this is the green one as well. Oh, this is some color, man. Jada, what do you think? <laughs> Rainbow! And I, of course, I have some white onion that I'm going to throw around as well. Okay, I think this is okay. And finally, I'm just going to drizzle some oil right on top of this. Just drizzle, 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 drizzle. This is beautiful. Don't you like it? I love it. And I'm going to just baste my chicken paste one more time with some more honey. And then as it bakes, I'm going to continue basting it with the marinade that I saved earlier. And we're just going to do that about three to four times as it bakes so that the chicken comes out tasting like honey glazed chicken. Okay, this looks perfect for me. I'm just going to pop it into my oven that I have preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and allow it to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the chicken cooks through completely. And guess what guys? I'll be right back. Let me just put this in the oven. I have something good to share with you all and you're gonna go it. Hey guys, so permit me to deviate a little bit from the cooking process. And today happens to be the birthday of one of our very own. He is uh, one of the cinematographers on the Delicious Cooking Series set. And today is his birthday. Now, I'm gonna tell him to drop his camera. Please, can you kindly drop that camera and come over here quickly. His name is Moses. Oh, Happy birthday, Moses. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Okay, Thank guys, you so this is Moses. And Hello. <laughs> Say hi to him. Thank you. And today is his birthday. Now, yeah. one reason I love Moses so much is I like his passion, his dedication, and his commitment to work. Mm. He has an amazing, excellent spirit. And 
he's always all about the details like yeah. sometimes i literally get upset with him when he's like no when he hold it like that i'm not taking that shot yet i'm like moses my hands are hurting me I love you. <laughs> Like, but at the end of the day, I realized that he was actually right all the while and I was just being angry for no reason. Okay, so he is so passionate fun. about his work, he's so dedicated and he's so focused and he is one of the people behind the videos that you all watch. So yeah. please, you all should kindly help me wish Moses a happy birthday. But first, let's sing him a happy birthday song. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Moses. Happy birthday to you. Please, wait, 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 wait. How old are you now? Please, leave on tomorrow. How old are you? Yeah, well, stick counting, the age is stick counting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guess All what, right. guys? The celebration is not over. We made him a cake. Yes. Wow. Sorry, let me just get the cake. And the cake was made in the delicious kitchen as well wow. by one of our very own our production assistants, the best cake in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to cut your cake, Moses. For real? Yeah. Mm. So hold it. Okay. And when I say hip hip hip, we all say hooray. Hooray! And then he cuts the cake. So hip hip hip. Hooray! <laughs> Happy birthday, Moses! So Thank you guys you so should much. please kindly leave him a comment down below. Yeah, we're expecting and your comments and your birthday. gifts. And also you can go to his Instagram page as well. I'm wishing him a happy birthday. I'm going exactly. to put the link down below. And just in case you're watching this video tomorrow or one week from now or one year from now, you can still leave a comment. I'm sure he will be very appreciative of it. Okay guys, so this is what my honey glazed chicken looks like. It looks really yummy, right? And very caramelized. This part got a little bit burnt, but I'm not going to call it burnt. I think I'll just call it um, too much flavor in one spot. And guess what? The honey kind of like makes it really um, easy and fast for the chicken to get caramelized that's where you can see it looking all shiny and glossy and yummy and you know right like <laughs> I cannot wait to have a taste of this it looks so lush and do not worry if your fall paper is burnt like and some of your vegetables are burnt it's just normal and I must also add that about 20 minutes into the baking I flip the chicken to the other side as well so that it can brown evenly. Okay, I like plenty colors, so I'm just going to be very generous with these vegetables. <laughs> Alright guys, here you have it. Honey glazed chicken served and ready to be devoured. Now you know how to make honey glazed chicken, hurry now to your kitchen and make it for your friends and family. And please send me pictures of your creations. I really always love to see them. And kindly follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We're on there as Delicious Foods. I post loads and loads of pictures there, so you really want to keep up with me, right? To get more inspiration daily. And also click the subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Hurry now and subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, remember to keep spreading love and not hate. I love you all. Take care.